<clears throat> sure. Okay. Okay, got okay. it. All right. So what we were talking about earlier was um, obviously engagement percentage on all posts and over a year's worth of time, et cetera. But I mentioned to Jillian that the engagement percentage on my newsletters is actually a lot better because it's a subscribe vehicle and you get a lot more opens, you know, those kinds of things. So, so I told her that I would show her, I actually keep track of that. And I sent her a spreadsheet that I keep track of separately that shows all of that information, especially since LinkedIn has just recently added the impressions plus the views, plus the you know, reactions, et cetera, all in one place. So what I'm gonna show you is where you can find that. And I'm gonna show you how I kind of keep track of it on an ongoing basis, okay? So I'll share my screen and it's really easy enough to find if you're just working to look at your own newsletters. Okay, so uh, you guys should see now, now see my Zoom screen, which I don't want up there. Okay, all right. So um, this is my home screen. The easiest place for you to find your own stuff Okay, to get started with this is really just go to my network. Okay. Mm -hmm. And once you're at my network, click on the newsletters. As you can see, I'm subscribed to 32 newsletters. But when you click on newsletters, the same for as it's going to do for me, your newsletter is always up at the top. Mm. Okay. So if you have a separate link for your newsletters already, go to that link. That's what I'm talking about. That's all I'm really talking about. Getting to your newsletter link. So once you go to your newsletter link, now you've got all your additions. However, there's the, and I think in Jillian's case, that's nine, right? Okay, so you got all your additions. <clears throat> and then if you want to, especially if you don't have too many of them, you can one at a time go down to any newsletter you want. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Go down to any newsletter you want and click on, okay, the newsletter. You actually have to open up the newsletter. Now, you, you, you guys know me, I use the, I use the right mouse click trick all the time. So I open a newsletter in a new link so I don't lose my place, okay? And once I've got that newsletter open, then all you have to do is it on yours, because it's yours, you will be able to actually view the stats. Mm -hmm. So if you view stats, now you've got all the components that we talked about in that other video, Jillian. Okay. okay. You've got impressions, but in addition on newsletters, you've also got views. So the difference is the impressions is the number of times it's actually shown up scrolling by, somebody's seen it in the feed, okay? Views are in a newsletter or an article standpoint, they actually clicked and opened the newsletter. Oh. So as you can see here, actually, this is interesting to me because this happens sometimes. It's actually shown up less times in the feed than there have been people who have actually opened it. About, you know, about 200 more mm -hmm. people have opened it than actually saw it in the feed. But now, that could be that, because they could have got it from their inbox. They their got it email. from their inbox. That's exactly why, because they're subscribers, okay? So that's why that number is always up there pretty high in the first place, right? So again, though, as far as the engagement percentage is concerned, what I end up doing is the same thing that we did in the other one. I take the engagements, 105 plus 132 plus one, add those up and divide those by the number of impressions. And that will give you then the engagement percentage, right? So again, you guys should see this because it popped up for Jillian mm -hmm. before. So 105, yep. 105 plus 132 plus one divided by, that's 238 divided by 5587. And that's 4.26%, uh, which is a little higher than my normal three point something percent, okay? Wow. So as you can see, newsletters are, are normally a, a better engagement vehicle than some of the other kinds of things. Okay. Wow. Now you can do that on a one-on-one -on -one basis. If what I do is I go here each time and then I record that in a spreadsheet. Okay. Well, then in order to make it really easy for myself, here's the next step, step that I've done. And you'd have to do this separately. What I also did is that I took every single one of those links for a newsletter and I put them in a bookmark folder. Okay. So as you can see here, I've got all my newsletters already out. And when I want to go once a week, I will go out here and I will open all of these. And then I will record each one, one by one into the spreadsheet because they're always, every single one of these, it, sooner or later is going to get another view or another impression or you know, et cetera. So I, so I keep track of it. Because it's long-term content. Exactly. 
So I'm still getting stuff that, you know, like we, well, I even mentioned that one. The second one up there, number two, the, the anatomy of a LinkedIn post, we even talked about that one in our last live, right? And you had, and you had that in the slider as well. Right. So, so, you know, that one this week is going to get, you know, more views again, because there's going to be more people here about it. But literally right. I go here, I right mouse click and say, open all 25 and I open all 25 tabs and work my way through the tabs. So you can either do it one at a time, like I talked about it before, or you can do it like this. If you got mm -hmm. them all in a bookmark someplace else. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. pretty cool. Yep. Did you get that Tina? Any questions? Yep. 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 Okay. All right. I'll stop share. And that that's it's that simple. It's really that simple. It's not that, not that tough at all. Cool. And cool. I really like it because I, I I've gotten to look now at my twenty five newsletters, and overall they've gotten a lot more views. They've got a lot more impressions, and it's it's a better content for me than almost any other thing that I do. Yeah. You know, and now it, it it doesn't get the it doesn't get the huge numbers okay because i had a post i don't know a week or two or three ago oh the one that announced that i was going to be going on vacation i wouldn't be on my mm -hmm. for a while that one actually got about twelve or thirteen thousand views twelve or thirteen thousand impressions which is much higher than my normal average of six thousand or so right but newsletters consistently get exactly the same every single time it, it's guaranteed that's the mm. point. It's guaranteed interaction, guaranteed engagement. And I mm. like that. That's interesting, especially too, because a lot of people uh, in John's group have been saying that um, they they feel their newsletter is not being promoted by LinkedIn. They're 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 finding that their newsletters are not doing as well as the first when they first launched. Well, it may be that, I mean, obviously mine over time have gone down a little bit as well, a little, not much, okay? But if you, you looked at the spreadsheet, you're pretty consistent, okay? Right. See, the, the thing is that, that I think the mistake that those people are making is that they're counting on LinkedIn to promote it for them. I don't count on LinkedIn to promote my newsletter. I promote my own newsletter. I've got links on my profile. I've got links in, you know, I've got links everywhere that point people to uh, you know, and, and and every single one of my newsletters has got a call to action that says subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to my newsletter. You know, I'll be doing this once a month. Come on back, right? So right. I've I've promoted it, and that is another reason that it has stayed at the level that it has stayed at. Right. You know, don't count on LinkedIn to advertise for you. You got to do it yourself. Right. 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 Oh, that makes sense. And, that makes and people sense. can find it back, and people can Google it. And yeah. and you get your articles written at least once a month. Yep. Yep. So, so did you take the summer off with your newsletter, Tina? I will create a summer newsletter. So it will come oh, out in yeah. sort of what I learned on my summer vacation. <laughs> Perfect. Exactly. Okay. That's good. All right. Well, thank you, Jeff. I appreciate yep, sure. that. That would that was good to know. I uh, hope pleasure. you enjoyed that too, Tina. It's always just kind yeah, of good I'm, to, you know. I will go back and, and do the maths. Yeah. And it's letters. always interesting to see over time, right? I don't know how many editions of newsletters you've got, but but Jillian's got nine now. So that's enough to to get some sort of significance out of it, I think. Yeah. And at least see if you're growing or, you know, how's it going? It's Trending. like is stuff going yeah. down, is stuff going up, you know, yeah. figuring it out. So in even comparing, oh, when I did this topic, I got this kind of reaction. But when yep. I did this topic, I did, got this. So yeah. just kind of gives you an idea of where you should go, where you shouldn't go. Yeah. So well, I, I, I broke it, I sliced it and diced it a couple of different ways as well, especially since now I've got 25. I got an overall average, which is to make sure that each one of my newsletters is reaching that, that level, right? But I actually looked at it from the first 10 newsletter standpoint, then the second 10 newsletter standpoint, and then the third 10 newsletter standpoint. So I keep a track of it, it again over time to see whether or not that level is changing a little bit. And it is a little bit, but not much. That's the cool part. Wow. Wow. That's cool. That's cool. All okay. right. Okay. So we're on the calendar again. And uh, so we said the 19th, we said the 19th, and hopefully Stephen will be back. Yeah, I'm yeah. Go from there. Okay. All right, sounds great. All right. Bye, Take guys. Take care, ladies. Have a good one. We'll Have talk a wonderful soon. week. Okay, yeah. bye. Clapper, clapper, clapper. <laughs> <laughs>